Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe and I am really, really excited for Christmas. Basically, every year my parents always host Christmas and without getting too much into detail, I have a lot of children in my family and they usually come round and my parents get very stressed because they'll be cooking pretty much the whole time. They'll obviously have to wash up and clean up and stuff and, you know, children can be children and they're normally quite hyperactive and just all over the place and some years they're quite ungrateful with what they get and my parents just it got to a point where my parents just weren't enjoying Christmas anymore which really upset me especially as an adult now where Christmas for me isn't the same as it was when I was younger I just want to see my family happy so this year my parents are coming to George's parents with us and we're all spending the day there and I'm really excited because it's going to be one of the first years where my parents actually get to, you know, chill out and relax and just have a really nice time with adult company and I think they're going to have the best time ever, which means I will have the best time ever. So, yes. Let me know your Christmas plans down below, if you're just spending it with family or friends or family and friends and why you're excited or what you've asked for and, and stuff like that, you know, I'm nosy and I want to know. So anyway, today I'm going to be showing you a Christmas look. I did a little poll on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram then please do. The idea was I was either going to do red or red and gold or a green and gold look and everyone went for red the idea i have is very reversible with the colors so i think what i'm gonna do is do one of the ways to do it on this side and one of the ways to do it on this side just because i want you to be able to see the way it could be on both sides and then you can choose which one you think looks better let's get it started As you can see my base is done and I've done my eyebrows as well because I normally do my eyebrows how you've seen the last few times, very, you know, natural. And today I decided that because it's Christmas and we're going all out, I'm going to have some, you know, mm, brows. So that's what I went for. So my brows are done, obviously my base is done, I've done contouring but I haven't done any highlight or blush yet because I want to see how the look comes out and which, you know, if I can do it different on each side. So. I think today I'm going to be sticking with the Jaclyn Hill palette just because it's got some very nice reds in it and golds in it. At least just one gold. No, it's got like two golds, but it's got some real nice colours in it. So I think I'm going to be using this today. My eyes are primed. I've already primed them. If you don't know how I prime my eyes, then please just here will be like a little banner and it will show you a video I did about prepping and doing my base. So, so we'll start with this eye. Look at them brows. I haven't done my brows in ages, so it took such a long time and I had to use so much concealer to clean them up. But I think they look okay. So starting off, I'm going to obviously do my transition shade, which is normally the third one in. Basically, up until a point, both eyes are going to be the same. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm just going to deepen that with the one next to that. And then the same on the other side. So moving on to my next brush, that was the T17 by the way, not that I have to say because it's the only one I ever use. So just moving on to the smaller fluffy brush I got in a pit box, I think it's the Cougar brand. I'm going to be popping into the one underneath the original transition colour. Stick it in a bit closer to the crease. And the same on the other side. Okay, so that's like the transition base down. So for both, both eyes I'm going to do a cut crease. So Hold tight. So using my trusty Morphe B19, such a beautiful brush to cut my crease with. Where is my concealer? There it is. And my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am going to cut this out because I've done this before in a video. I will link it right here or here. I don't know where it is. Okay, so my creases are cut. And obviously, as you can see, this one is just not as good. <laughs> well, let's just ignore that. But this one, loving it. I very rarely do like full cut creases because I'm not... After like here, I'm just not great at this side, but I did okay. So we're gonna start with this eye, and what I'm gonna do is on this side, I'm gonna have a gold lid. And I'm using this one from the Jaclyn Hill palette, using the other side of that brush, which is blue. Just any flat brush, really, just to get that all over my lid. Oh my god, that's such a pretty colour. I haven't used this yet. I haven't used gold in like so long. Check that shit out. I've done my lid gold, and what I'm gonna do is like a red winged liner that also kind of comes up here. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully, hoping it comes out the way I want it to. And I'm gonna be using MUA's Lip Blacker in Reckless. I haven't used this yet. It's very, it's like a very true red. It's real pretty. 
So I'm gonna do that and what I do is just use a like liner brush, which I haven't got a great one. But I got one that does the job. But basically any like liner brush you've got with like a real thin tip that you can do like a wing with will work for this. So you just get it on there, get some product on it. Oh shit, <sighs> did it the wrong way. If you wanna know how I fixed it, basically I just did the same as kind of cutting my crease. So I got some concealer, did it right up to the line. You can still sort of see it a little bit. So I covered it the best I could with some concealer and then just put the gold eyeshadow back over it. So for underneath, rather than doing the whole whatever's on top's underneath, blah, blah, blah. What I'm gonna do is grab a bit of this red, it's like deep cranberry red and smoke it out on my lower waterline or whatever honestly I'm just kind of doing this as I go along so I've done that and then taking the same flat brush I'm gonna dip like that into the gold and then put that real close to my waterline so that is the first eye I really like it but I think the other side might be a bit better for the other side, I'm doing pretty much the same thing, but this will be red and this will be gold, so kind of like a reversal. So obviously I've already got my crease cut, even though it looks shit, but it's fine because we're going to be doing the liner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this colour from the Jaclyn Hill palette with that flat side and pat that all over. This is such a beautiful colour. If this colour doesn't remind you of Christmas, I don't know what does. That'll do. That'll do. So we've got this pretty red colour on there, which looks real <laughs> jagged. Oh god. But it's fine. And then for the liner, I've got this liquid eyeshadow from Lush, which I probably got now about three or four years ago. So I don't know if you can still get it. But it's a cream eyeshadow and it's called Happiness. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing, dipping into this. And then again, just doing like a wing. Okay, and then because that gold isn't popping like I want it to, like how this gold is, I'm going to take this gold and go over the top with it. So that's the gold done on this side. That is so pretty. So I'm going to do the underneath. And I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take that gold and try and smoke it out. I know glitters are quite hard to like smoke out, but. And then take the flat one and the like cranberry red and do that real tight to the line. Get out of here, eye bugger. So that's the second eye and I think this one is my favorite. If I could do anything differently though, rather than using the Lush cream eyeshadow I would just spray the liner brush with some water or something and and do it because I think this gold looks more like luxurious than this one and it would pop more but okay so I'm just gonna finish this look off with some highlighter now obviously I don't have red highlighter red highlighter is not a thing I hope so what I'm gonna do is do a gold highlighter firstly I'm gonna set down my Barry M liquid chrome highlighter drops I think this is the first time I'm using this in a video I've used these a fair amount of times. The first few times I really didn't like it because it had that kind of cream highlighter thing where you pop it down and start blending it but you can still see where you put it, which I really didn't like. But I've learned to do it like quite quickly now. I also thought it would have more of an impact than it does. I thought it would be a lot more like brighter and blinding, but it's fine. I just use it as a base, really. See what I mean? Like, it's nice, but I don't think it, it like has a like a really big impact like I was expecting. From me, from, from me, from the Revolution palette, I'm going to be taking, even though it looks very bright yellow in this, it's not, I assure you, I'm going to take the first one, Christmas after all. I 
And then I'm gonna try and do like a really, really faint red blush because I feel like if I did a pink, it might look a bit odd. So what I'm gonna do is dip into cranberry red and I know this looks real dark and daunting but I'm gonna dip it in like ever so slightly. Cute, I love it so much, I'm putting it under my nose. I really like that actually. That is very nice. So I'm just gonna quickly do my eyelashes because I almost forgot. You can wear falsies with this obviously because it's Christmas you want it to be like in your face. I however I'm not because I want to keep the focus on these looks and the only eyelashes I have are very big and will just take away what I've done. But if you've got like some nice kind of, not sparse, that's not a good word, but like, you know, I don't know the word, but if you've got some eyelashes that are still gonna keep this in focus, then I highly suggest you use those. I'm just using my smaller Too Faced, smaller? Small Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And then I'm just gonna use Tarte's, I always forget what it's called because the name's rubbed off. I think it's Lights Camera Lashes for my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to line my lips with my MUA's Lip Pencil in Brooding Plum. And then I'm going to take the lipstick I use for the liner, so the MUA uh, Lip Lacquer in Reckless. First time I'm using it as an actual lipstick. <laughs> lip colour is really nice, it's very bright. <laughs> Gonna let that dry. Is it just me or does it look brighter on my lips than it does on my eye? It's real nice though. Um, and then I'm gonna take that happiness, pop that in the middle. And then I'm gonna get the, where is it? Where is it? The highlighter that I use, so the gold highlighter. Uh, I'll hang that on top. So yes, that is me. Oh my god, why do I keep saying that? That is the finished look. I personally am loving this eye more than this one, but I think from further away, this eye looks more like I haven't blended it properly, whereas this eye looks quite nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this eye is my fave and obviously this lip can go with both of them because it's red and gold but yeah so that is my finished christmas look if you decide to recreate any of these then please tag me or send it to me or whatever because i love when people do that it makes me so happy um and i just want to say thank you so much for the continued support that everyone gives me it's just amazing so like comment and subscribe and share and blah blah blah, blah and i will see you next week